Hey, hey, it's Shay Shay. Welcome back to my channel, guys. And if you're new, welcome to my channel. So today I finally have a little Christmas preview. This is gonna be the $4.95 shower gel and body wash sale. Now obviously when I'm filming this video, the sale has been come and gone. However, I did pick up 14 items, but I only have 13 to show you guys in this video because one of them came unsealed and it was kind of spilled in my box. So yeah, I'm getting a replacement for a different scent, but it sucks. Yeah, it just was unsealed, so I'm not messing with that. So here's a little Christmas preview. They had the Christmas scents in the shower gel first. And then of course you saw that they dropped all the body care online. I actually have a haul coming as well very soon once my package gets here. Because you guys know that I shop everything online. But yeah. Oh yeah guys. And real quick. Um, so my scent preference for uh, shower gels and body washes is clean. Like anything musky or like too floral or like too cashmere or too sweet of a scent, I don't really go for it in the shower. I wanna smell like really fruity and fresh and citrusy when I get out the shower. Really mainly wanna smell like clean soap and laundry. Like I kinda want that type of vibes. I like really fresh and clean scents, so I'm very selective on what I use, especially in the shower. But okay, let's get right into this $4.95 shower gel haul. So the first shower gel that I have to show you guys is Lakeside Citrus, one of the new fall scents. So Lakeside Citrus says it has autumn air, citrus zest, and sparkling water. So I think that this is a very clean, light fragrance. I think it's very unisex for a man or a woman. I also feel like it does smell like sparkling water. It just smells very, very watery, if that makes sense to anybody. Probably not, but this smells like a perfumey, unisex watery scent again i detect no citrus zest in this so if you guys like a watery clean light fragrance you guys would really like this and obviously i got this one because this would be great for the shower like hello like watery clean you know you want that going in the shower so that's why i picked this one up and this one is definitely not my favorite at all out of the four new lines, but I picked it up for its cleanliness, so I want that in a shower gel, you know? The next one we have here is Champagne Toast, one of my favorites. Gorgeous bottle. It's crazy because this one doesn't have the scent notes on it, so this one mainly smells like tangerines and champagne. It smells very, very fruity, very feminine, very pretty, and I really like the scent a lot. One of my all-time favorite scents ever. Next, we have a retired scent you can only find at an outlet or really online. This is Love and Sunshine. So the key notes in Love and Sunshine say it has sun-kissed daisies, sweet lemon, Mara strawberry, golden honeysuckle, and sunshine musk. So I smell four notes the most out of this. I smell the strawberries, the lemon, the daisies. So like a really fruity floral fragrance. I love anything lemon, you guys, and honeysuckle always smells clean. I love this. It smells so pretty and so clean and so good, y'all. So good. The fourth fragrance we have here is Pink Velvet Cupcake. So this is another fall fragrance, and it smells really strong, really girly, and really, really fruity. I love this so much. It's like a gourmand, berry, fruity, sweet smell. Pink Velvet Cupcake says it has sparkling red berries, whipped pink marshmallow, and sugared praline. So I really get like the praline sweetness of this, but mainly I get berries. I think this is more fruity than sweet, but I love fruity scents. Again, I love anything citrusy, fruity, pretty. I really love berry scented things, and this one definitely smells like berries and praline. Okay, so the next four things are gonna be aromatherapy moisturizing body washes. So so the first one I got my hands on, which I love and is currently my favorite aromatherapy scent, this is Stargazing Meditation. 
This is such a nice scent, you guys. This one says it has bergamot oil, patchouli oil, and vetiver oil. The patchouli in this comes out very, very pretty, very like a little bit mature, but very soft and clean smelling. This is like a fresh but deep warm scent to me it's just like an all-in-one it's a very strange combination of scents i love this though and you definitely smell the patchouli the bergamot and the vetiver a very calming deep sweet scent i love this you have to try it for yourself but this one again is my favorite one out of the whole aromatherapy lines so far so yeah i'm really happy to have this in the body wash the next one in the same line that I love second most is Hot Spring Spa. And this says it has eucalyptus oil, lemon oil, and cedarwood oil. I love the stone packaging on this. So pretty. This fragrance has a very like earthy, like cedarwood, lemon, eucalyptus scent. It's kind of earthy, but it's also like really sweet with the hints of fruitness and freshness to it it's a really peculiar scent i never smelled anything like this but i really like hot spring spa the third one is the same one in that line this one is sunrise yoga and this one says it has mandarin oil spearmint oil and juniper berry oil So with this one, I mainly smell the mandarin the most. Like that's what's most prominent in this fragrance. And I smell the juniper in here too, alongside the mandarin. And then I smell the spearmint, but it's not very minty. It's more sweet, fruity, spa-like smelling rather than like a spearmint type of minty fragrance. Next, we have one of my top three favorite um, aromatherapy scents. This one is in eucalyptus tea and it's the stress relief line this one just has a very clean eucalyptus tea very very calming scent to it i love this so much and you can never have too much stress relief it's so calming and so nice and i really enjoyed the scent so much i cannot wait to use this in the shower i'm like so excited because i definitely need some stress relief okay like i need some Okay, y'all, so that was most of the regular scents and fall-related and aromatherapy scents. Now we're going to get into the Christmas preview. Now, I know we're in fall, but it is never too early for Christmas, okay? I love Christmas, my favorite holiday. I'm ready for some Christmas. So the first Christmas preview scent, and they put all these online first, and then, of course, they drop the body care later, but this one is in the shower gel of vanilla bean noel and this says it has fresh vanilla bean sugar cookies warm caramel whipped cream and snow kissed musk i love the green packaging on this so pretty now i'm not gonna lie to y'all vanilla bean noel is actually a scent i do not like i have never liked it in the previous years i just don't like vanilla bean smells i love vanilla smells okay i love vanilla i just don't like vanilla bean it doesn't mesh with me well but this one a very festive vanilla bean caramel sweet deep musky scent that like just smells like christmas i don't know um this one is kind of gourmand i heard some people said that this one changed from previous years i'm not sure i don't mess with vanilla bean noel like that okay don't come for me, but I don't really like it that much. I decided to give it one, one more chance. So yeah, it actually smells okay in the bottle. I'm gonna have to try it out on my body because you know, I didn't like it because it didn't mesh with my body chemistry in the body care form. So hopefully, I'm hoping that this will work for me. The next one we have here guys that I also don't really care for and that I skip on every year because I didn't really like it. This one is Twisted Peppermint, and it's in the scent notes, Cool Peppermint, Sugared Snow, Vanilla Buttercream, and Fresh Balsam. The little reindeer and the little candy canes are so cute, so I will give it that. It has cute packaging. I'm not crazy over peppermint body care. I'm just not. 
Maybe this might have a cooling effect like my Dr. Bronner's peppermint. I do like that in the shower and it's a natural soap. If you guys didn't know, it's a Castile soap. But this one kind of reminds me of Dr. Bronner's but sweeter. And of course it's not natural, but hey. This one has a very, very cool, like refreshing peppermint smell mixed with the balsam and a menthol smell. It does smell good to me, so hopefully we could try it again in the body care. Maybe it might be one of those times where I like the shower gels only in a certain scent rather than the rest of the body care, so we'll see. I can't wait to test these out in the shower. And the next one is absolutely one of my favorites. This one is Winter Candy Apple and such cute packaging again. This says it has candy red apple, winter rose petals, candied orange, maple leaf, and fresh cinnamon. So from this, I mainly get like a really festive apple scent. I smell the apple, the orange, the rose, and the cinnamon with like a little bit of a musky undertone in this. I love this so much, you guys. I get multiples of this every single year. I get like three sprays and some of the body care every year. This smells so good. My favorite Christmas scent um, that I have tried so far, but I haven't tried Christmas cookies yet and that'll be in the next video probably. But right now, Winch Candy Apple is my favorite scent. I get it every single year and I love it. I get so many compliments on this. Um, and it brings me back to good times when I met my boyfriend and child's father. He loves this scent on me and I love it. It's actually one of my top favorites ever. I love this scent, you guys, so much and I highly recommend it. And I know some people don't like Winch Candy Apple. Y'all tripping. I'm just kidding though. Like everyone likes what they like. It's either hit or miss on every single fragrance. But I can't say enough good things about this. Smells so good. Compliment getter. Smells amazing. My favorite. In the last two scents, we have some of the new ones and highly favored ones. This is Snowflakes and Cashmere and Frosted Coconut Snowball. How gorgeous is that packaging, you guys? So pretty. So the fragrance notes in Snowflakes and Cashmere is Vanilla Cashmere Cream, Caramel Woods, Frosted Clementine. So they brought this one back. A lot of people have been talking about this one. At first I didn't like it, but now I really do like it. What I mainly smell from this is the Vanilla Cashmere Cream and I smell the caramel. I don't really smell the Clementine in here. It just smells like a very musky, vanilla, sweet, creamy, cashmere, caramel scent to me. But also like Christmas somehow. They like put Christmas in all these little bottles. It's so weird and crazy. But this one smells really good though. And the last moisturizing body wash of this sale is Frosted Coconut Snowball of course. A scent that I did not like but I decided to give one more chance because if you guys didn't know or you may know I don't like coconut scents especially not in Christmas they just don't do good with my skin they turn really musky weird smelling on my skin all coconut scents pretty much do that minus like one or two so hopefully this one will do good on my skin but yeah this one says it has frosted coconut, North Pole vanilla, winter freesia, snow-kissed woods, and sponge sugar. Gorgeous packaging. I definitely smell a coconut smell, but it is very wintry. This one smells like a frosted coconut, the vanilla, the sugar, and a little hint of freesia. It smells really sweet and really nice. Definitely not summery to me, so it's not like coconut summer in the winter time. It's not like that to me personally, but this one smells like a straight frosted coconut snowball for Christmas. Like, you're getting coconuts in the winter. Like, what can I really say? It smells just like a really sweet vanilla sugar coconut smell with a hint of freesia floral in there, so it's really nice and I actually do like the smell of this. And yeah guys, that is it of this finally awaited shower gel sale haul. I've been waiting on my package. Thank you guys for bearing with me. You know, I order my stuff online just to be safe from the pandemic. I don't need to be going in no stores or anywhere I don't need to go. Um, definitely not judging anyone who wants to go in stores because you can do whatever you want to do, you know? And I don't really judge people like that, so... But personally, I can't take the risk due to me and my kids, so yeah. 
that's why I shop online and it's easier for me. Let me know if you guys shopped the sale or if any of these I shown you that you have in your collection or that you just like based off my haul. And all right guys, let's get right into my quote. If anyone can do something in life, why can't you? If Beyonce could do it or your friend can do it, why can't you? The answer is you can do it. You can do whatever you put your mind to in life as long as you put effort behind it and you have faith in yourself and God, okay? God can make everything happen for you guys. Like, I am a Christian woman, I'm a firm believer in the Lord, and prayer works and faith in Him works. I'm just saying though. But yeah guys, also remember, you are important, your life has meaning, and you have value. Never forget that, don't let yourself or any negative person come against you and tell you otherwise. You matter and you're supposed to be here, okay? I feel like we all have a purpose. It just takes some time to find that, you know? I hope to encourage you guys with my positive words of encouragement after every video and I hope that this really helps somebody and I just want you guys to know that. I tell myself these things all the time and that's why I wanna spread the love and positivity on my channel. Thanks so much for watching and I'll see you guys in the next one. Bye guys!